you know, we're going to go back to the lesson, but, you know, that sister, Lord willing, you know, she, she hearkens to what the Lord needs her to do. Right. Right. The Lord needs her to, to obey him. Right. right. The Lord don't need her to be out on the Sabbath day. The Lord needs her to be honoring the Sabbath day. Right. Dressing in modest apparel. Right. Keeping the high holy days. Like right now is Passover slash unleavened bread. Right. I really hope she's not eating any unleavened bread, but you know, this, this walk isn't for the weak, right? This walk isn't for the likes of our oppressors, right? That walk up and down on stolen land and think that everything is cool, right? Everything isn't cool. And the Lord is going to get his revenge. He's going to get his revenge on all. As a matter of fact, grab me real quick. Keep, keep a finger in that. Grab me Revelation 13 and 9. Bring it out. We're going to see how much revenge the Lord wants on these oppressors that are walking up and down the street that is stolen. This is the book of Revelations 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity, which is exactly what our oppressor has done, led us into captivity, right? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So all you Edomites that are walking up and down this street, smoking your little vapes, wearing your little flat, flat back dress, <laughs> right? Right. What you need to do is enjoy your land, enjoy your world. Right. Because it's not going to last long. Bring it out! Russia's getting ready to bomb the shit out of this place. Right. Right? Iran is getting ready to bomb the crap out of this place. That's right. Clean it up. Clean it up. <laughs> yeah, I gotta clean it up. I gotta clean it up, you know? Right. Can't be cussing. Right? There's a mighty nation or mighty nations that are rising up because nobody likes the United States or United Snakes of America. Right. Nobody likes this place. Everybody's getting ready to come together and bomb the crap out of this place. Right? right? <clears throat> it just takes one little uh, uh, breaking of a piece of straw and this place is finished. Right. Right? There's a precept that says let the weak say they are strong. And that's what's happening. All these weaker nations that the U.S. used to bully are starting to rise up and join together just to beat the U.S. down. Right. They said that the U.S. is going to be burnt with fire and brimstone. Right. And ain't nothing gonna save you except for the Lord. But if you ain't a part of the children of Israel, guess what? You asked out. You're finished. Finished. Right? Enjoy your nation. Enjoy your evening. Just know that there's a recompense coming very, very soon. Right? <clears throat> If any man have an ear, let him hear. Bring it out. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. No, he may get killed with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. Right. So all of you Edomites that had us in slavery, right? And that's not just our dark-skinned brothers, right? We have the light-skinned brothers from Puerto Rico. We got Dominican Republic. We got Haiti. We got all the Caribbean islands. Every nation, we got North America, South America. How did Christopher Columbus discover a land when there was already people here? Right. Bring that out. Bring that out. Who were these people? Who were these people that Christopher Columbus encountered? You can't discover something that's already, that somebody's already here. Right? Make that make sense. Bring this out. This is 1 Peter 2 and 21. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. 1 Peter. Oh, <laughs> this is first Peter 2 1 21 for even here unto where ye called were ye called now who was called 
right? This, this precept right here talks about a few different things. But one thing it mentions is the people who are called. Who are called? Right? What can I help you with, sir? I was wondering what church you represent. What church we're presenting? We are the church of the Most High God. Right. That's what we are. We are Yahweh's camp. And we are here to prophesy the downfall of this wicked nation. Right. To wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And to make sure that they know that God only loves them and none else. Right. <clears throat> what do you know about the Bible, sir? Where are you from? Uh, Ukraine. You from oh. Ukraine? Oh man. oh, man. Hey, I'm sure your people are tired of Russia over there. Of course. Of course, <laughs> but hey, you know that Russia is tired of y'all too? Right. How is that? Yes. Because you guys, <coughs> if you come over here, that'd be great. We didn't do anything to them. No, and that's fine. You may not think that you did anything to them, but there's a lot of history there. See, the problem is, is that the Ukrainians adopt the ways of America. Right, the Ukrainians allowed NATO to come in and uh, 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 maneuver their ability to make decisions. Bring it right? out. Ukraine is literally a part of Russia, or at least it used to be. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So why is it that it's okay for the U.S. to uh, govern universal policy for a country that doesn't even belong to them? Right. That's because the U.S. is a big bully, right? And your people, the Ukrainians, absolutely the, U the, the U.S. is a bully, absolutely. What other country goes to any other country and just starts bombing the crap out of them for no reason? Who bombed Hiroshima? I'm talking about the U.S. Ukraine adopts U.S. customs. Russia doesn't like that. Russia wants Ukraine back because Ukraine belongs to Russia. It's no, it a part of Russia. No, it, doesn't. it was a part of the USSR. How does it not belong? Because the USSR no longer exists. <laughs> by, by whose standards? We know whose standards is not a country. Who said, I get it, but why is the USSR not here no more? Because it collapsed. It broke up into a smaller nation. Why did it collapse? Well, that's a kind of a complicated answer, but it's a, the short answer is because communism could not be sustained. Interesting. Communism can't be sustained. Yet, the U.S. is pushing communist agendas every day. Right. Absolutely it is. China pushes communist agendas every day. China is communist in name only. China has huge businesses and billionaires. That's the opposite of communism. <laughs> Do you know how communism works? Of course I do. I grew up in communism. You can't even go to the bathroom in China without them knowing you're going to the bathroom. That has nothing to do with communism. Of course it does. No, it doesn't. That's not what communism Okay, is. so you define communism for me. Okay. Let's, let's pull up a definition. Let me pull up a definition for you. Okay, go. Let's pull up a definition for you so you can know exactly what communism means. All right. Let's, let's do this because you want to come up here. Let's talk about communism. Let's talk about communism. Here. Communism definition. Let's see what let's see what the US Bible uh, the, I'm sorry, the US here. Communism is a left wing to far left social political philosophical social political deals with the society. Philos uh, philosophical deals with the mentality of that nation, right? right? Yeah. And economic ideology with a socialist movement. Communism is just socialism wrapped in a nice, pretty boat. That's all it is. No, it's not so Hold on, let's keep going. Whose goal is the creation of a communist society, a, co a social economic order centered around common ownership of the means of production, distribution, etc. Who are the people that own China? Bring it out. Nobody owns China, it's a country. Okay, who are the people that run China? Who's the president right now? Well, the Communist Party does, but like I said, they're communist in name only, really. Okay, but... So can a, can a Chinese person go around and do whatever he wants? Can a Chinese person do what we're doing right now? No. Why not? But I thought they have freedom. They don't. They, didn't, they never said they do. Absolutely. But this is a communist society. God made us free. Who are your people or who is China to tell anybody that they have to do what they want them to do? That doesn't make no sense. There's no freedom in that. There's no freedom in this. 
these people tell us that we have to stop at 11 o'clock. Right. But what happened to the, uh, the, the freedom of speech? What happened to freedom of speech? Well, so now because they tell us we gotta shut down, how is that how is that fair? You're expressing your freedom of speech right now. Exactly, but we're also on a time schedule, right? If we go past a certain time, they start telling us we gotta shut down. Well, where's the freedom in that? Isn't this the land of the free? Just because you cannot monopolize the street. But China monopolizes, the US monopolizes everything, right? Is that Ukraine monopolizes things, don't they? They monopolize grain? No flour? No? <laughs> do you even know what we're talking about here? Yes, they do. I mean, so the way communism works is if I'm in charge, I'm telling everybody what to do. And if they don't do what I say, they get in trouble. That's right. There is no freedom in that. That's called being in charge. It's not called being in charge. If you want to have a society that works in harmony, you have to have rules that are equitable for everybody. This country doesn't have that. China's country doesn't have that. Any communist country does not have that. There is no equality, right? But even in equality, the Lord doesn't deal with equality. Let's get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. <clears throat> and grab me uh, Deuteronomy 14, I think it's 3. Let's read this. Let's see. Let's see what the because you believe in God, right? You believe in God. You don't believe in God. No. So why are you up here? Read this. Because this is what God feels about us. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Thy is a possessive pronoun. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. No, He's chosen everybody. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself meaning that the lord chose the children of israel to be a special people unto himself oh! how special okay so above below above, above equal to above, above all people that are upon the face of the earth are our people let's forget about ukraine for a second let's forget about everything else are the people on this sign above every people on the nation? This, and I'll, I'll break it down to you. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Are these people above everybody else like God just said in the scriptures? No. So then there's a problem then. The only person that can tell somebody what to do is him. That's, That's right. it. And he's laid out rules that our people don't follow, right? Our people decide to hang out with Becky, right, and Susie, and all these other Edomites around and do what they say to do, right? They want to choose the U.S. instead of every, instead of God. That is what matters is the Most High God. He created, as a matter of fact, let's get this precept right here, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let's hear the conclusion. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This is the whole matter. This is what God wants the children of Israel to do. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. The entire duty of man is to only serve God. That's right. That's why he has this holy book. But your people have taken this book and made it in their likeness, which is what he doesn't like. He has our people walking around on the Sabbath day when they should be at home enjoying rest, right? This is the only day that he gave to our people to rest. He said, work six days, and in the seventh day, you rest. Why aren't our people resting? Why are our people out here shaking ass, doing drugs? That's not resting. That's not resting. That's, that's called fornication. That's hey, yo, called. hey, yo, that's what? Hey, yo, right, what? That's what that's called. This guy is crazy. It's not according to me. It's not according to me. You know what it is? It's according to God. That's who it's according to. It's not according to man. It's not according to Becky. It's not according to Susie. It's not Steve. It's not Jack. It's not Harold. It's none of them. It's God. That's who we belong to. Do you know what your people belong to? Themselves. No. Ye are of your father, the, the devil. devil. Right. That's who y'all are. Right. And the works of the devil is what you guys do. Right. That's right. Who's you guys? You're an Edomite. 
Did you not know that? You don't know your biblical nationality? You know your biblical nationality is in here, right? Uh, I didn't know that. Okay. You didn't know that? Okay, well, we can get that for you too. What you got? Yeah, let's get this 14. Deuteronomy 14 and 2. And this is a second witness to the first witness. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. Ooh, right. what? That's a second confirmation Ooh, of what was said already. What? Now let's grab that in Genesis 25 and let's show him who he is. Let's show him and let's show the other Edomites are walking around up and down on stolen property that they are the children of Esau. Right. They don't know that because nobody has taught them. Just like nobody has taught us that we're the children of God. Right. Bring it out. Genesis 25 and 25. And the first came out red all over. Look, look, Salakia, look at this. This woman is walking around with fucking panties. Excuse my French. That is what America perpetrates. Right. This is what America allows. They allow you to be a whore. They allow you to be a sodomite. They allow you to be a pedophile. Right? It's not called freedom. It's called fornication. <laughs> it's called disgustingness. Somebody give me Esau. Somebody give me the Esau, please. Uh, yeah. Look at your face over here. That's you. That's you, but his face is a little better than yours. Give me fornicator, please. Bring it out. Hebrews 12 and 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. As Esau. Esau would be the so-called white man. That's There you go. Throw up them double horns. There you go. Hey, enjoy your night because you're going into slavery. You ain't you these Beckys over here. That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright? There you go. Oh, well, let's go jump 25. Let's figure it. Let's, let's Genesis 25, 25. And the first came out red all over, like a hairy garment. Now, when white people are born, what color are they? Uh, well, right you got kids? What? You have kids? No. No? Well, Thank that's, God. That's shocking. Thank you, Lord. The water you howl. So, when... I didn't know if you knew, but when white people are born, they're born like little balls of fur that are red, right? They look like little red beans, right? When they come out of the womb, right? That's what white people look like. It's describing white people to the T. Let's hear it. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they call his name Esau. He called his name Esau. The so-called white man, woman, and child are the Edomites that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Y'all are the goddamn devil that the Bible speaks That's of. That's right. Y'all had our people in slavery. Right. Y'all have our Me. people still in oppression. Me? Absolutely. No, I'm not saying you as a person. I'm saying your nation because you come from the children of Israel. Right. Uh, Oh my God! <laughs> Damn! Woo. Oh man! Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn! Whoa. Hey! Whoa. God forbid! Oh, oh, oh. Shit! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, we gotta we gotta slow it down for a second. Let's slow it down because now I'm I'm speaking blasphemy over here. He over here trying to put a spell on me with those damn pimples on his face. Right. That's what's happening. I saw it earlier. The so-called white person comes from the nation of. Esau, right? right? Okay. And you are sworn enemies to the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, woman, and child. You do nothing right to us. You've had a grudge against us since you were born. They were fighting in the room. That just shows you, your, your police, right? They kill us on the streets with no problem. They shoot us 41 times. They shoot us 90 times. They keep their, their knees on our necks for eight minutes, 10 minutes at a time. You think that's what God wants? Well, sir, so are you saying your God is too weak to do what he wants? No, no, no. My God is perfectly capable. He can snap his finger just like that. Why isn't he doing and it? you'll go into a blur. You know why? Because of that prideful ass right there, right? right? He's allowing y'all right. to build up a tab, right. and when it's time to cash out, y'all are finished. That's right. Matter of fact, give me Isaiah 14. Bring We're gonna out. start bringing out judgment. Bring it out. We're gonna start letting him know what he has as his future. What you got? 
Okay. This is Ezekiel 25 and 17. And I will execute great vengeance upon them. Upon who? Upon them with furious rebukes. And they shall know that I am the Lord when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. Give me that, that, that verse 12. Con. Verse 12. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom, you, Edom, that's you. You listening? That's you, Edom. Because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Your people have revenged yourself upon our people, and you've had a perpetual hatred against us. Therefore, Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from teeming, and they of the damned shall fall by the sword. That's your future. Let's hear some more of your future. This is the book of Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Meaning that the Lord is eventually going to pull his anger back and he's going to pull his captivity back from us, right? Now and he's going to choose Jacob. This is, this is what you wanted to know. You wanted to know what he wants for the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, woman, and child. Right? right. Let's find out. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the stranger shall be joined with them. The stranger is everybody that isn't the children of Israel. If you're not a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, you asked out, buddy. Right. And the stranger shall be joined with them, yeah. and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Meaning you're going to beg us. You're going to beg us to, 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 you're going to rock it on our ways, and you're going to beg us to take you with us. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Right. We're going to take you and we're going to bring you to Israel where we belong. The people that talk about Israel right now are fakes. And the house of Israel shall possess them. You are going to be a possession. That's what you're going to be, buddy. Oh, just like your ancestors were. Damn, you say, hey, you see the devil coming out? You see this? This is why the Lord hates these goddamn people. This is why the Lord hates y'all. Right, because y'all are some prideful ass demons, right? Some prideful, pasty patsies. Right. Oh, snap. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hell I'm not finished. Yeah, how you, how you being, hey, how you being prideful? You ain't that much. How you being prideful with snot running down your face? <laughs> <laughs> and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. For servants and handmaids. That's your future. If you make it past this civil war that's coming, your place is going to be as servants and handmaids to us. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. Were we your captives? Were we your captives? And look, th this is why our people can't get anywhere because they want to associate themselves with the enemy. That's why. Get a shot of that, because he wants to associate himself with the devil, right? And now understand that that man was a part of your family. Oh, look at him. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, look, dancing. Look, look. You're cool. Yeah, cool. 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 Captain and Cool. That's what's going to come to every white man, every white woman, and every white child in this world. Y'all oh! are going to be demolished off the face of the earth. Matter of fact, give me all the data because we're going to find out. I need a confirmation. Bring it out. You can't just listen to what I say. I want to listen to what God has to say. And so, uh, my words don't mean nothing, right? You got it? Who got all the data? What you got? Are you gonna hold me, Jeff? Bring it out! White people being your slaves. Yes, Whatever you're gonna do. You're gonna enjoy it. Oh. You're gonna rub one out, aren't you? Or three. Oh, we're gonna you said, did he say rub one out? Yeah. Rub one out. Hey. Only. Uh, there we go. He just proved. The devil just proves himself to be a fornicator, to be a profane faggot. A profane faggot. He just asked if we're gonna go home and jerk off. Well, yeah, because you're, you're fantasizing about well, right now. Why would you even think about another man and whether he's going to jerk off or not? Yeah. Oh, that's how profane you are. Yeah. You are literally 
literally showing Bible prophecy. Right? That is crazy. Now Obadiah, bring this out. Verse 18. Obadiah 1 and 18. Hey, Salakia. And this is the type of people that our people want to hold hand in hand with. Right? right? This is our people. This is the same people that our people want to save every time. They don't give a damn about the Indian man, the, the dirty dirty. They don't give a damn about the Chinese man. They don't give a damn about any of the other nations. They only care about Esau. Right. Make that make sense. Obadiah 1 and 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau. It's for you, sir. The house of Esau. That'll be you and your people. And the house of Esau for stubble. And what do you do with stubble? What happens with stubble? What happens with stubble? I can ask you a question over here. What happens with stubble? Stubble gets burnt. Keep going. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, none remaining. Right. For the Lord hath spoken it. All praises. All praises. That's right. What's your question, sir?